Hello there monsters and man ladies and people and welcome to recharging. I'm going to tell you something about the Hydra loop. I'm going to tell you what this product is, why we need this product and how it works. I actually tried to arrange a meeting with this company to give a little interview with them but unfortunately they are very busy because the Hydra loop was actually the best product of CES 2020 so that means they had worldwide exposure so the whole world wants this product now and it is actually a good thing i mean i don't mind at all it is a good thing that the whole world wants this now and you will see why because the hydro loop is a water recycler an in-house water recycler it will actually recycle gray water for you and gray water is for example water from the shower or water from your washing machine it will filter that and it will store that for reusing for for example for your toilet or for something else so why do we need these kind of products well as we all know the population of the world is still rising and every human being needs fresh water to survive well the earth has a lot of water i mean 70 percent of the earth is covered in water which is a lot but of that 70 percent only 2.5 percent is fresh water so that is not a lot so that means fresh water is continuously under pressure and that is also because we don't have an energy efficient way to turn salt water into fresh water yet and that's why we have to keep an eye on our water usages it doesn't it cannot be too high and also even maybe maybe with global warming uh, there will be less and less water in the future here's a little picture where you can actually see the world water stress projection in 2040 and you can actually see the high population areas and also the very dry areas um, which is there there may be water shortage shortages in the end in 2040 or 2050 and that is why we need these kind of products the united nations even says that the population will maybe increase with 20 or 30 percent in 2050 so you can imagine that uh, well that fresh water is under continuous pressure so what is so special about this water recycler then uh, over all the other water recyclers that are already out there? Well, this one has a filterless system. So that means there are no filters, there's no membranes. So that means these ones need a lot less maintenance than the existing ones. Also, this one is quite a lot tinier. I mean, existing ones are uh, one or two square meters. And this one is only a half square meter. And it actually looks quite nice. I mean, it's not a shame to put this thing in your house it looks quite fancy so how does this all work then how do you filter water without any filters or membranes well let me give a disclaimer first again i haven't seen the product in real life so that means i don't know 100 percent how this product is, is working so there might be some mistakes here and there um sewage water your gray water comes into the hydro loop from the top then the processor tank is getting filled and then the process will start the first thing that's being used is sedimentation. So all the sediment goes to the bottom, is collected there and will be disposed into the sewer. Second is flotation. So things like hair and soap, they will actually float on the water. On the top of the processor tank is a skimmer. So because of flotation, it is all getting collected by the skimmer and it's also being disposed into the sewer. The third step is called dissolved air flotation. Dissolved air flotation is a water treatment process that will clarifies the water by removing suspended matter such as oils and solids. Uh, it will do this by putting high pressure air into the bottom of the tank. The high pressure air is then forming bubbles and these bubbles will adhere to the suspended matter causing the suspended matter to float to the surface of the water where it is then removed by the skimmer. The fourth step is being called foam fractionation. With foam fractionation, the tiny air bubbles catch all the soap and conditioners in the water. This will create foam, which will rise up to the air and also pick up other particles and dirt and is then being thrown away again by the skimmer into the sewage. After these four steps, the water is being put from the processing tank into the upper tank. In the upper tank, there's actually a moving bed bioreactor or a MBBR. In an MBBR there, is, there are plastic biofilms that are moving through the water. Um, organic matter that is left in the wastewater will stick to these bioforms, biofilms and will therefore be filtered out of the water. These plastic biofilms are in a continuous movement 
by bubbles and these bubbles actually supply enough oxygen to optimize the filtering of the organic matter by the biofilm. And then in step number six, actually the last step, the, the water will go from the upper tank to the lower tank. And while it is being transferred from the upper tank to the lower tank, the water will actually pass in UV light, disinfecting all the water. Uh, whenever the water is in the lower tank, every four hours the water will be des disinfected again by the UV light. So here you actually see an image of the water before the hydro loop and the water after the hydro loop. You can see the water is clear, but keep in mind the water is not drinkable. But the water can be used again for your toilet or for your washing machine or for your garden or for your, for your pool. The water still can be reused. Um, the hydro loop can also be placed in a cascading setup, as you can see right over here. And this is actually great for lodges, for resorts, for hotels. Um, they can use these hydro loops to reuse the water that they are using. And also in this setup, as you can see, it's actually very easy to scale up. Just put some extra hydro loops beside it and you have extra capacity, which is great. Well, this is all very nice, but how much does this save me? Well, Hydro Loop says you can save more than 45% of your daily water usage with this system. And it can also save energy, and mostly in colder climates. How so, you might ask? Um, well, the water in the Hydro Loop is already at ambient temperature. So instead of getting cold water from the outside, that's maybe zero degrees, it's already at 20 degrees Celsius. So you actually have to heat water less, and in that way, you use less energy. So then remain with maybe the most important question of them all. How much does a hydro loop cost? Well, a hydro loop will cost you 3,500 euros. Keep in mind, this does not account for any rerouting of your water that you have to do to, to make it go to the hydro loop or an extra pump or whatever. Uh, but for example, in new houses, if new houses are being built in such a way that they Keep in mind a water recycling system, not maybe not a hydro loop, but just a water recycling system in general. It's actually up to you if you put one there or not. I think this is a great product and it will actually add a lot of value already in existing countries where there's a lot of water shortage. Um, so for example, one market is uh, California. That's probably great for this, these kind of systems. Uh, they have also said that if you want to do this for the money, and you live in a country where there is enough water, like maybe in Scandinavia, um, this will not save you a lot of money because water is so cheap over there. But it will help the environment, of course. But again, in countries like in the Middle East or in California and Mexico, the really dry areas, wherever, it doesn't matter, or where there are a lot of people who use a lot of water, I think this product adds great value and... So if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. There's actually a link below the video that goes to the Hydro Loop website if you want to have a look for yourself. And then I would like to say now as always, thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.